Let's bake some muffins. Did you know that muffins are considered quick breads? Ano po yun? Quick breads are breads that are quick to make, quick to bake, and also quick to eat. O ba? Diba? Yan yung mga muffins mo, mga scones, and yung ibang mga loaves na kailangan mo lang haluin saglit sa mixing bowl. Hindi mo nga kailangan ng mixer at higit sa lahat, hindi mo kailangan magsumba sa kamamasa ng tinapay. O ba? Diba? Pero masarap pa din. And dahil very successful ang inyong mga banana loaves, banana cakes, let's make a banana chocolate chip muffin. Very, very simple. Napakabilis gawin. The ingredients, sigurado ako ang iba sa inyo, meron na yan sa bahay. So first, I have here my cupcake pans. No? Meron ako ditong 3-ounce cupcake pans that I've lined with non, uh, ano nga ito? Liner. Cupcake liner. And sprayan ko lang yan because papaalsahin natin mamaya yung yung inyong muffins para hindi sila dumikit dito sa sa gilid ng pan. So you just spray it quickly like that, no? Next, let's prepare the batter. You will be needing 2 cups of all-purpose flour. I'm using La Filipina unchlorinated all-purpose flour. You only need 2 cups. So 1 and Two. Okay? Ganito lang po kasimple yan. Tinatawag natin tong process na to na one-stage method. Lahat ng kailangan mong ingredients, ibabato mo lang papunta sa iyong mixing bowl. White sugar. If you want a darker banana muffins, you can also use light brown sugar. For a healthier version, you can use muscovado or pwede rin coconut sugar. This is baking powder. This is baking soda, one piece of egg, and I have here one cup of fresh milk na lalagyan ko ng one tablespoon of vinegar. So, bali magiging parang buttermilk siya. Bakit po kailangan may vinegar? Because again, ang vinegar, tumutulong po yan magpalambot ng baked products mo for some cake recipes and for muffin recipes. So, ibuhos mo lang dyan. And then you also need melted butter. So all the ingredients, and then I'm going to get a wire whisk. Ganyan lang po kasimple. Meron ka na pong muffins. Kung ayaw mo po ng banana, o eh ang gusto mong ilagay, ano ba, dried mangoes po, pwede po ba? O pwede po bang blueberries? O pwede mo pwede. Kung anong feeling ang makakapagpasaya sa'yo dyan, yun ang ilagay mo. Eh today, mukhang bananas and chocolate chips ang makakapagpasaya sa'kin. So, pag wala na pong traces of flour, so you will see, pag yung mixture is smooth na, may konting lumps, pero wala nang buo-buong flour, tigilan mo na po yung halo. Because you want your muffins very soft and very moist. If you overmix it, there's a chance na tumigas at maging rubbery yung muffins mo. I'm going to put one cup of chocolate chips. And I have here four pieces of lakatan bananas that I'm going to peel. Pwede po bang five pieces? O pwede naman, sige. I'm going to peel the lakatan bananas and then I'm going to chop it. E chef, meron pong ganyan, okay lang po ba yan? Actually, mas masarap nga kung maraming ganyan yung medyo na overripe na. ba? Diba? Pwede po bang gumamit ng ibang bananas aside from lakatan? Pwede naman. Ako lang, I've been making banana cakes, banana muffins for, for so long. Matagal na ako nagbe-bake niyan. And I always use lakatan. Because ang lakatan bananas, consistent ang kanyang sweetness. Diba? So, for, ibig sabihin, hindi nagbabago. No? Palagi siyang matamis. No? Well, at least yung nabibili ko, ha? Palaging matamis. Consistent. So, gusto mong consistent din yung lasa ng banana cake mo. Consistent yung tamis and yung banana flavor. So, for your banana cake and in life, 
kailangan palaging consistent ang sweetness. O, di ba? So, I'm going to chop this like this. Hindi ko siya imamash masyado. Why? Because gusto ko din na meron namang mga buo-buong bananas na natitikman or nakakagat-kagat. Pero kung gusto mong imash, no problem. So, you just chop it like that. Chef, can I put walnuts? Gusto ko pong lagyan ng walnuts. Gusto ko pong lagyan ng almonds. Uy, lagyan mo. ba? Diba? This is a very good breakfast item. Merienda. Okay? So, you just chop it like that. Pwede mo din gamitan ng food processor yan, pero medyo mas magiging pino or mas magig magmamash. Nasa sayo po yun, no? Me, I like it na may mga konting chunks. Okay? So, you just put it there. Okay? As easy as that. Let me just wipe. And then, you can use a wooden spoon. I-fold mo lang yan. O, oh, ganyan lang kasimple. Gusto mo talagang super healthy? Lagyan mo ng konting chia seeds, flax seeds, sunflower seeds. Okay? So, once it's combined, o, oh, di ba hindi nakaka-stress? Kaya ang haba ng chika natin pagka ganitong mga recipe ang ginagawa kasi napakasimpleng gawin, no? You're going to scoop it out onto your prepared pans. One scoop lang. Oh. Kung gusto mo talagang umbok na umbok, punuin mo. Ayan. Punuin mo siya. And kumagamit tayo ng uh, scooper para sigurado tayong pantay. No? Ang muffins... At ang pagmamahal, kailangan punong-puno. Pero, kailangan din pantay na pantay. Di ba? Pantay-pantay. Fair. So, you scoop it out like that. If you want extra crunch, lagyan mo ng konting banana chips. Mag-chop-chop ka ng banana chips. Okay, so I'm scraping just to make sure na masisimot mo lahat. It smells so good. Amoy na amoy ko na yung saging, the butter. Nako, eh, nagda-diet po ako, chef. Pwede po bang instead of butter, ang gamitin ko ay healthy vegetable oils? Pwede naman. Wala namang problema doon. Sure. Siyempre, hindi mo lang amalalasahan yung creaminess nung, nung butter. And then, yan, simutin lang natin yan. So, I'm going to bake this in a preheated 400 degrees Fahrenheit oven. Medyo mainit yung oven, no? Because gusto mo talagang mag-umbok yung ibabaw, yung parang mushroom yung ibabaw ng muffin mo. And we achieve that through proper ingredients, proper mixing, and a proper hot oven temperature. So I'm going to bake this at 400 degrees Fahrenheit oven for approximately 20 to 25 minutes or until golden brown. So salang na natin. And then babalikan natin ito after mga 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so after 25 minutes, Ooh. Oh, di ba? Oh, tignan mo naman, di ba? Ang ganda-ganda ng pagkakaalsa ng muffins. Oh, see? Mainit pa po, ha? Mainit pa, oh. Di ba? Ganyan yung gusto mo. Nakikita mo yung muffins na muffins ang kanyang itsura. And syempre, kailangan moist. You can dust it with powdered sugar, pero sa totoo lang, as it is, Diba? Napakaganda na po niya. No? And you can taste it while it's warm. O pwede din namang hintayin mo munang lumamig ng konti. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyong umuusok pa po. Oh. 
umuusok pa. Yan yung sinasabi ko po sa inyo na chunks of bananas. Pag lumamig yan, hindi na po ganyang kadikit yan sa papel. Kasi excited po ako. Gusto ko na agad ipakita sa inyo. And natatakot po ako mapaso. Pero makikita nyo naman po talaga how moist it is on the inside and how nice the crust on the outside. Tikman natin. Mm. Mm. By the way, I used dark chocolate para may perfect marriage and balance dun sa sweetness of the bananas and the bitterness of the chocolate. Ang sarap niya. So, napakabilis nitong gawin. Gumawa ka na po agad. Pagkakitaan mo na, pasayahin mo ang iyong pamilya. At syempre, pasayahin mo ang iyong sarili. Happy baking, take care, and I'll see you soon.